Hello. Shine never goes in a flash. Um, I'm gonna tell some jokes. But first, I'm first I'm gonna play a really meaningful song, and then we'll tell jokes maybe. First I was afraid I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side Been so many nights thinking how you did me wrong And I grew strong And I learned how to carry on And now you're back from outer space I turn around and see you standing there with that stupid look upon your face I should have Change that stupid lock, I should have thrown away the key If I had known for just one moment that you'd be back to bother me So now go, walk out the door Don't turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore Or are you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Do you think I'd crumble? Do you think I'd lay down and die? Strumming my pain with this finger Living my life with these words Killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. I will survive. I will survive. As long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I got all my love to give, and I got all my love to give. I will survive. Will survive. Strumming my pain with his fingers. One time, one time. <laughs> Two time, two time, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. Yeah. I will survive. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Joke. Joke. Isn't this just like the best time of year? <sighs> Passover. <laughs> It's great. I love Passover. It's just fun, and joy, and enjoyment. I'm not Jewish. Um, I occasionally tell stand up, and I'm a disappointment to my family, so I could see how that could be confusing. It's not mean if it's true. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely not Jewish. I am Christian, because Jesus, like everyone else, loves me. And I'm, I'm not a Judaic scholar, honestly. Um, but I was once in a production of Fiddler on the Roof, so I'm pretty knowledgeable. Um, and Judaism uh, is all about um, tradition. Um, if you were gayer, you would have laughed at that joke. It's fine. <laughs> there we go. Just ask your Jewish friends. They get it. Um, no, but Passover, uh, I pretty much know the rules of Passover. So the first rule of Passover is you can't eat anything leavened. So no, like, bread or pasta. Um, and the second rule of Passover is every day you have to complain about the first rule. As much as humanly possible. It's pretty much... In just seven days of a forced Atkins diet, and you will not shut the hell up about it. <laughs> there are worse things that could happen. Your people of all people should know. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, and there's Seder, and um, at Seder, you you put out wine and you wait for Elijah. Um, Elijah is like the Sam O'Keefe of religious deities. Uh, spoiler alert, gonna flake again this year. Um, uh, if you knew Sam, you would get it, it's fine. Uh, uh, and, um, and, and you say things like, next year in Jerusalem, because Jews haven't figured out that's actually physically possible now. <laughs> it used to be like a wish, and now it's just an excuse. Ah, next year. God, I'm hilarious. <laughs>
Probably number 35. <laughs> Ilu hoti hoti anu ilu mi ri time ilu hoti anu mi mi try em die a new die die a new die die a new die die a new die a new die a new die a new die die a new die die a new die die a new die a new shut the hell up. What the fuck? This is stand up, not uh, w uh, w um, choir rehearsal demonstration practicing. That's not a thing that I'm really good at it. But Passover has some great jams, just great tunes. It's like Christmas, but for lawyers and Goldman Sachs employees. <laughs> No, it's some great songs, like, you know, Let My People Go, and I don't really know that song, but I hear it's good. Uh, and, and also, uh, Dainu, we heard that one. You don't hear it much on the radio anymore, but I don't know why. Um, and also... Um, that, that's not a song, that's just a chord. Manishtana. Um. Friday. Friday. <laughs> Go to synagogue on Friday. <laughs> Everyone's looking forward to Pesach. Pesach. I'm not going to sing that again. Because <laughs> it's sacred. Um. Oh, no. My favorite part about Passover are the games. The, um, so... You probably all know the, the games, uh, but in case you don't have any Jewish friends, Sarah, um, I'll explain it to you. What? Just because Mike Carney is cheap and circumcised does not mean he's Jewish. It's, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I don't know. His eyebrows will look like Martin Scorsese. Maybe they're related. I don't know. But no. So the rule, the games. Um, so you're not allowed to have anything leavened in the kitchen. Um, hence the matzah, you know, the matzah. And so what you do is you pick um, a girl, um, any any girl, you know, if you're having trouble at random, and you spread a rumor that she has a yeast infection, and then Max can't invite her to Seder. <laughs> No, it's real fun, and anyone can play, and you, you can even and you can even start now. I call dibs. Not not you. Um, no, it's great. You could just be like, "Hey, Max, how's it going? That's cool. How's your research? Yeah, I'm interested." Energy is awesome. Yeah, my research is cool. Yeah, it's, that's great. You'll never guess who I saw buying Monistat yesterday. But you don't have to be, you know, like, that subtle. Or, I mean, I'm not going to tell you the rules. It's pretty easy to learn how to play. You'd be like, hey, Max. What you, I don't really talk to Max much, so you're probably better at this than I am. Um, hey, Max. What you drinking? Guinness? That sounds delicious. Have you ever been to Ireland? No, me neither. Haha, ha, shamrocks. That's a good one. Um, have you ever ha, know about the Guinness factory? Yeah, they use... It's not vegetarian, because they use salmon to make the beer. And speaking of fermenting fish... <laughs> I, I'll wait. It's fine. Just think about it. Um, but yeah, Passover is just wonderful. Which, it's funny because Lent sucks. Lent just fucking sucks. It's 40, 40 days of miserableness. Um, which, you know, Passover is great and Lent sucks. How'd that happen? It's not like you can blame the Jews for that one. <laughs> sort of can. <laughs> Uh, all my Jewish friends try to invite me to Seder. I always think I should invite them to Easter. 
That never works out well. Like, oh yeah, you can come, but you can't take communion. Killed Jesus, can't eat him too. <laughs> can't, that's rude. <laughs> Lent is just awful. And uh, I... When I got to college, so I went to college in North Carolina, and they don't have a lot of Catholics there, and so people didn't really know what Lent was. I was like, uh, did you ever wonder, uh, Lent is when you have to just give up something really important to you. Did you ever wonder why, like, all the Catholic guys at your, at your school were always horny during Lent? And they'd be like, oh yeah, it makes sense now. And I'd be like, yeah, it's because their priests stopped fondling them for Lent. <laughs> I, um, I, I once, when I was in high school, I come from a pretty Catholic town, and I, 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 I dated a Catholic girl for Lent, um, <laughs> yeah, that year, that year for Lent, I gave up being gay for Jesus, um, no, I dated a Catholic girl, and we just happened to be dating during Lent, um, I, I gave up french fries, that's like my standard thing to give up during Lent, it's, you know, uh, she decided, I'm not joking, she decided, this was my senior, junior year, no, senior year, I'm not, she decided she wasn't going to give something up, she was going to wear a what would Jesus do bracelet for Lent. I was like, that's not sacrificing, that's accessorizing. That's, uh, <laughs> shit, there goes being gay for Lent. Uh, uh, but, no, and, and then she was like, no, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, big, because every time I look at the bracelet, I'll remember Jesus' promise, and I'll say, what would Jesus do? She said that fucking everywhere. We'd be at the gym, and she'd be like, what would Jesus do? Cardio. <laughs> um, yeah, so we broke up. And I can remember exactly where it happened, because I was looking right into her eyes, and I saw that stupid bracelet, and I looked right into her eyes and said, what would Jesus do? Jesus would use less teeth. <laughs> Let, okay, let's be honest. Jesus walked around with 12 celibate guys. He was like, he was really the deity version of Sam O'Keefe. Let's be honest. <laughs> This is fun. We should do this again sometime. Have a reunion, five year reunion. Just show up here and do it again. Fuck who's ever living here. Just everybody come. You know exactly who will be here. I'll be, I won't have anything better to do. Corey will be here. She'll be 42. She'll still have 12. Ruth will probably be here. Eve will be in rehab. We'll, we'll call him up. We'll be like, Wait, Eve, where are you? We'll be like, busy in rehab. And that'll be the end of that. Oh, I should, um, I should say, in, in five years, Eve plans on hiring a Pakistani bull, pool boy named Rehab. So. <laughs> That's a stupid joke. We all know Rehab would be an Eve. Um, <laughs> This is awful. Just, well, I'll show up here. I mean, I, I hope the person living here is like a middle-aged couple by that time. They're just like, honey, 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 wake up. Wake, wake up. There are 30 minimum wage government employees sitting in our basement. I don't know. I didn't put them there. I, they're putting on interminable puppet shows. I don't know. The basement. Our basement. The asbestos crawl space. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're a cult. They keep referring to this place as the banana. I know it's no, I know it's stupid. The color is more of a French vanilla. Which funny story, French vanilla, Tomas nickname in college. <laughs> Uh, I tried really, really hard to come up with a racist joke there, and it was really difficult. I was like, banana, yellow, Asian, and I, nothing came. Racist jokes are hard to write. I, it's because you have to be so specific. Um, it's like, if you're a white guy, if you're a straight white male, and you're really into Asians, you're said to have yellow fever. And if you're a gay white male and you're really into Asians, 
you're said to be a rice queen. And if you're a bisexual white male and you're really into Asians, you're said to be Garth. <laughs> And on that note,